Hello everyone, welcome back to Garage Stories. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Let's compare a commercial lawnmower with a residential lawnmower. Both zero turns and they're both sort of red. So this should be an apples to oranges comparison, right? This mower here, I'm thinking is about a 2002, 2003, somewhere in that range. This one here is a 2012, so it's about 10 years newer. They're both 42 inch cut lawnmowers. So the question you may have is, should I buy a residential mower or a commercial mower? Should I buy an older commercial or a newer residential? And it's gonna vary from situation to situation. It just depends. But I wanted to show you kind of some of the different features between these two mowers. So on this commercial mower, we've got a much heavier duty welded deck. And you can generally tell a welded deck because the corners are gonna be like angles on there. Whereas a stamped deck like this one is going to be rounded because they stamped it out. This has a much heavier duty deck. It even has a metal discharge chute. Not all commercial mowers have that. And honestly, on a commercial mower, you don't always even need the discharge chute because oftentimes the top of the blade is covered. So when you take off the discharge chute, it just shoots straight out to the side. On some residential mowers, the top of the deck has, is kind of cut out over the discharge area. So if you take the chute off, grass can spray like straight up. So just things to think about. So if you get an older commercial mower and it has original rubber components like tires and stuff like that, then they'll be older. These ones are dry rotted, they're cracked. If you replace them, you know, that's only, you know, a couple hundred dollars. You could probably do all the tires on this mower for $150, maybe $200. And then they'd be good to go for another 10, 20 years. I think these may be original tires. I'm not sure. I haven't owned it for 20 years, so I don't really know. Rubber items are gonna wear out. They're gonna decay, but tires, they're not that expensive. These all still hold air. Um, things like seats. The seat has deteriorated nastily on this one. On this one, the seat kind of came off. It separated and we glued it back down. On this one, it was a fancier seat. It had armrests. I pulled the armrests off, slapped a seat cover on there. It's one of those seats that has like a plywood back on it and all that. The upholstery wasn't that bad, but the wood was all rotted out. So seats can go bad, tires can go bad, but like your general components, like your deck, your frame, your engine, all that stuff should be good. Fuel lines can go bad. I replaced the fuel lines on here. You've got belts, belts can go bad. These belts seem to be in pretty good condition. So you've got certain items that can go bad just because of age alone or sun exposure, things like that. This mower looks to me like it was stored in a more covered place. This one was not. Even though it's twice as old, I think the difference in paint colors and stuff and general condition of the rubber items, I think this one was stored in a better location. So it's younger and it was stored in a better location. So how people take care of their machines can make a big difference. But this mower will probably look really similar in another 10 or 20 years, whereas this one is probably going to look pretty nasty and be all trashed out. So it just depends on what, you're, what, what you want to do. Like if you have a smaller yard, you would probably be fine with a good condition residential mower. But if you don't mind fixing a few things, you could have a commercial mower that may last you a lot longer. This one here is probably going to sell for less than this one here. I think this one here, we're probably going to get 12 or 1300 for it. This one here, maybe 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, somewhere in there. So this one's probably going to be a couple hundred dollars less. And if I put more money into it, I don't know if it would really be worth anymore because it's just kind of old. I could put a lot of work into it and try to repaint it, polish all the paint, put new decals on there, maybe go ahead and replace the tires. But this one's kind of an off-brand commercial zero turn, so it's a little bit of an exception. If you find like a name brand commercial zero turn, you're probably gonna be a little bit better off. This one will actually fly under the radar and it could be a really good value. However, I have to say, given the choice between these two mowers, I would actually be tempted to pick this one, which is probably why it's worth a little bit more. It's just in good condition. It's probably going to last a similar time frame before needing major work. However, when this one starts needing major work, it's probably reached the end of its life. And this one here, if you put some money into it, you can keep it going again. So, you know, to each their own. However, I'm less likely to damage the deck on this mower. So it depends on what type, what your yard looks like, how, what kind of stuff you're mowing. If you have a nasty yard and that kind of stuff, this deck is going to be a lot better than that deck. Those decks, I, from what I've heard, can get destroyed. But, you know, it just depends on your situation. If you have a nice yard in town, you'll be perfectly fine with that. So the commercial mower, it has an hour meter. This one has right around 800 hours on it. 
This mower, I don't know. I would have to guess it has maybe 250 hours on it, but again, it's hard to say. And it's already had a major oil leak that I fixed on it. This one over here, it's starting to get a little bit of puff of a smoke when you start it up. Nothing major, but it'll still last for a while. One thing that I really appreciate that not all mowers have is the integrated parking brake. So for a zero turn, that is so nice to have. It makes it easier starting, stopping. It's one less thing to do, one less thing to forget about. This mower does not have integrated parking brakes. So you've got a separate parking brake right here. This one actually does. I don't know if Toro bought that system from Hustler because I believe Hustler was the first one to use that. But the consumer Toro models, from what I've seen, tend to have the integrated parking brakes. I had a prosumer one that we sold earlier this year and it had a separate parking brake like this Yazoo Keys does here. Another key thing to note of difference on these mowers is that the decks on these, on the commercial mowers, they're raised and lowered at the front and back. You have this bar here and you have two pivot points. So the deck stays level when you raise and lower it. The deck on a residential mower is really only raised at the back. The front is just hanging to the same pivot point. So the front of the deck can kind of stay right there and the back comes up and down like this to kind of change your cut height. Whereas on a commercial mower, the whole deck can come up and down. So you'll get a better cut with a commercial mower in general. Obviously, it depends on how you have your deck set up. Like if you have a residential one set up for your particular height that you like, you'll probably get a pretty good cut. But if you're you making use of all those height settings, you may see some differences in there because the deck may not be set up optimally for all of the different height settings. Whereas on the commercial mower, that's not an issue. This is a little bit of an older commercial mower, so it does not have the handy dandy foot pedal that a lot of commercial mowers have. And residential mowers are starting to come out with that too, I've seen. But neither of these have that, so in that sense, this is apples to apples. The commercial mower has twin fuel tanks. It can hold a lot more fuel than this mower over here. So that depends, again, on your circumstance and situation. If you need that fuel capacity, a commercial mower is gonna be better. If you also have a rougher yard and traction issues, the commercial mower is going to be better. It's got more weight. It's going to handle a little bit better. This one here is really zippy and it's fun to use, but it doesn't get as good a traction as a mower like this. Just, it depends on your situation. You can adjust things like tire pressure, things like that. These wheels are wider and slightly bigger and this mower weighs more. This mower is a little more planted than this mower. I'm starting to make myself think I would actually pick this mower instead of that one, but there's just pros and cons to each. So on a commercial mower, it just depends on how well it was cared for, but there are some really good deals out there that would make me want to pick a used commercial mower over a brand new residential mower. If you're going used 100% either way, there's there can be a lot of variation and things. Just know what you're getting into, do your comparisons well, do your sh shop around for a while, maybe try things out. But I think there's really good deals on commercial well, prosumer models out there, like a high-end residential, low-end commercial. A lot of the Hustler mowers are starting to come down in price now. I live in the central United States and there's a lot of Hustlers around here and mowers like the Raptor Super Duties or just the plain Raptors and some older fast track models. They're starting to come down in price where you could get them for significantly less than a brand new residential mower, a straight up residential mower. Those Hustler mowers are kind of borderline, not exactly, not really commercial and not really a regular residential mower. They're kind of in between these two because they have integrated transaxles, which this has, but they have a welded deck and features that a commercial mower has. A commercial mower has separate wheel motors and pumps, which is what you would want for the longest running and most optimal mower. They're easier to service, well I say easier, they're just longer lasting and tend to be made for servicing. Sometimes these are made for servicing, sometimes they're not, it just depends on the model. The prosumer models that would fit right here oftentimes have transaxles like those, but they're made a little bit heavier duty and they're made to be serviced, made to be serviced more easily. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown on the differences between, you know, a commercial mower and a residential mower. Commercial is just gonna be a lot heavier duty. They're longer lasting. If you get a used one, you can find some really good deals out there. Prosumers might be the right one for you or, you know, Sometimes you can find a good deal on a residential mower. Personally, I am a huge fan of commercial mowers in general. This one is getting up there in age though. But if it was a commercial mower in similar age to this one with a lot more hours, I would probably still pick the commercial mower. You know, maybe with a thousand hours versus this residential with 250. 
It just depends. You have to look up, look everything over, see the condition of things. You can replace an engine, but you can't replace a frame. Decks can be expensive to weld on and stuff like that. You can replace them. Engines are a little bit more plug and play. You can get different engines out there from different mowers. Decks are a little more specific if you're looking used, which is why I'm referring to replacing with the used parts. If you have a commercial mower that has a higher hour engine, oftentimes those engines can handle them higher hours. They're made a little bit heavier duty. They're the higher end model lines for those engine manufacturers. But if it's a vertical shaft engine, there's a lot of opportunities out there to get replacement engines from other mowers, from riding tractors that have blown out the transmission, or maybe they're just worn out other, in other ways. Sometimes you can get those mowers for cheap and pull the engine out and swap them into a zero turn, which I've done before. I guess ultimately you can do engine swaps on these, but the frame and stuff is gonna last longer on a commercial mower. You're probably gonna have heavier duty spindles and bearings and stuff like that. And overall, they're just better fit and finish on them. So anyway, guys, I hope you find this helpful. If so, you know, feel free to hit that like and subscribe. I've got more content on mowers, specifically these mowers. I have, you know, videos on both of these mowers and working on them. And as always, don't be afraid to get out there and break a wrench, go do something. But stay safe, let's keep making stories and we will catch you in the next one.